Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. loud. You're loud? Loud, very loud. <laughs> I mean, it's loud, but doable. I'm going to deafen myself. <laughs> I'm also hearing Tracy through my headphones. Yeah, hello? What? It, it, it's still kind of loud, and I'm hearing Tracy a bit through my headphones. <laughs> it, it, it's still... Uh, Okay, it's a bit more bearable now. I was hearing Tracy through my headphones, too, a bit. <laughs> okay, maybe if I move the mic farther away, that could do it, because when I laugh, I deafen myself. <laughs> Just don't laugh. <laughs> Try not to laugh. Oh, we're, we're live? Try oh, not nice. to laugh. Speed Gaming 2023 <laughs> challenge. Impossible. Hello, Speed Gaming 3. We're, we're laughing here and deafening ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Jossie's very loud on, uh, in our headsets. Uh, I mean, I'll move the mic away. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Dante's smiling at us. He can hear us. Uh-oh. That's, that's not good. <laughs> He's not supposed to be able to hear us. So, so much. I mean, I can see Rambler has his nice cords with the earbuds under the noise-canceling headphones. <laughs> Um, I, I assume Sigma or someone like that will give the countdown, but hey, we should, we should like talk about this. Yeah. So, you know, welcome to Speed Gaming Live 2023, uh, an in-person event with lots of different video game tournaments. Uh, we're going to be bringing to you a link to the past randomizer match between Dante and NY Rambler. Um, you want to talk about the mode a little bit that we're playing this year? Yeah, so it's a modified casual boots. Uh, those of you who are familiar or not with casual boots, it's just, you know, a standard open. You start with uh, a fighter sword and boots. Uh, but we've modified the item pool a bit to give the runners a bit more of a challenge. Um, so it's limited to two bottles, both empty. Um, when you find a third and fourth, they just show up as five rupees. Um, Likewise, one male upgrade, one shield, the extras show up as five rupees. Three swords, the fourth shows up as a green 20. Uh, no half magic, it just shows up as a small magic decanter. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Uh, let's see. A maximum of 14 hearts. I believe right, there's right, three right. heart containers getting you up to six. And, and like 32. And 32 heart yeah. pieces. Oh, we can see the players hey, now. Hey, how about that? Maybe we'll get their music, too. And now the people can stop looking at yes, us. Yes, there's the music. Yeah. There's the music. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're deafening me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's because I coughed. All right. So, okay. again, uh, here we have Dante versus uh, NY Rambler. So Dante is missing Ak, though. Yeah, he is missing Ak. <laughs> Ak, we miss you if you're watching. Um <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, the group stage of this tournament, uh, the, there are groups of either that just cut uh, out altogether. five or six um, entries. Yeah, th this is a six-person group. Um, besides these two guys, we have Gamachu, Amarith, Solas Summer, and Shinmaru. Okay, cool. <clears throat> But yeah, of the six runners, uh, yeah. only the first makes it into brackets. The second place person in the group has to play in a 10-player play-in race. And there's our countdown. We are off. We are off. So again, the standard start. So we're going to be going through the Hyrule Castle escape. Uh, so the first uh, five or so minutes of the run is fairly scripted. We'll see. Oh, and Dante already, like, losing a second there. Just, like, <laughs> failing to get that 100 rupee there out of Link's chest. And a little quirk about... Oh, uh, already got a map check. That looked like five, six crystals in both Desert and Hera and a regular crystal in Eastern. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Um, yeah, so just like that, Dante's slightly ahead because of the map check. <laughs> <laughs> Also, shout outs to our tracker, Skelly Bro, who's a little bit off screen over there. You can see him yeah, waving. Just waving. Um, yep. 
but I'm ve very grateful to him for keeping us honest for this race. We get a fire rod there in Uncle's chest. Yeah, you uh, definitely grab that magic once you have the fire rod. <laughs> Dante going with the spin speed there. Interesting. I've not seen too many runners uh, go for that uh, tech there. Yeah. Now, now, the fire rod will make the ball and chain guard nice and easy. Yeah, good reason to pick up that uh, uh, those small magic decanters. All right, so in Hyrule Castle, uh, we're going to find six items, a small key, and a map. So... Sometimes those first six items that you find, depending on what they are, can kind of set the uh, the tone for the uh, next part of your route. Yeah, it's nice to get some money or bombs. Well, we have enough money to buy bombs, but still nice to get the bombs directly. Yep. And the nice thing with it being uh, a casual boot start is, worst case scenario, there's bonk rocks right outside of Kakariko that do guarantee a bomb drop. Kind of slow to go for those, though, so the runners are going to be hoping, uh, excuse me, for... Uh, at least a bomb drop, if not uh, bombs out of a chest. Yeah, though, the, the guards seem to be in the magic pack, which is great for the fire rod, but I don't think we're going to get bombs. I don't know, we've got a Quake medallion already, so... Interesting. Uh, if you believe in, like, the memes, that means that Quake medallion is not going to be re uh, required because it was in a completely free location. All right, we're heading down to the ball and chain guard, of course, uh, as you said, Drossi. Uh, Fire Rod is going to make that a uh, pretty easy fight. Just one Fire Rod shot, boom, dead. Just wait for him to burn, get that big key. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that was pretty awesome by Rambler there. Yeah, that was Fire Rod close. shot and then immediately turn another direction. So that gets the map out of the way. So the Dark, Dark Cross, Cross has to be small key. Yep. And then four items in the last four checks of escape. Yep. So we have a little bit of downtime here for the next minute or two. Just a little execution battle between these runners here. So let's talk about how they're doing. Um, yeah. Dante is one and one so far. Um, win against Marath, loss against Shinmaru. Mm -hmm. uh, NY Rambler is 0 and 2. So he's he basically has to win this to keep any chance of getting to brackets. Right. Uh, and Gamachu is currently leading the group at 2-0. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's a... I mean, every group, you look at the the members of the groups uh, for this tournament, and it's... Every group is pretty cutthroat, but this might yeah. be one of the most cutthroat groups I mean, of, I look at, <laughs> of the tournament. We with, had Relkin versus Wall Kicks earlier today. That's <laughs> crazy cutthroat for groups. Yeah. I don't even know who's in your group, but I can't imagine it's a piece of cake. It is. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow came out of today 2-0, so we'll see how tomorrow fares. All right, we're here in the dark uh, dark rooms here of uh, of Hyrule Castle, so we're about to finally get our next. Uh, well, no, we've already established that this next chest is going to be a small yeah. key. Never mind. And we do get a free light cone as always in the standard open. Rambler getting a bit bodied by the ropes. They can just have a mine in their own sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like I played a little bit of practice last night, and like I don't know what it was about the did Dante just fire rod that the key rat. The key rat. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Gets the key quickly, right? <laughs> it's getting it's getting a reaction from the audience here. So I mean that's. All right, two pieces of heart and ten arrows. Not exactly what you're hoping oh, to Oh, I was here. hoping for the slot machine jackpot of three pieces of heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Sank Chest will have something. Yeah, by something you mean a red rupee. Um, and for, for those of you arriving late, we do have a modified item pool here. It's Kaz Boots, but um, a number of heart containers have been removed and replaced by pieces of heart, so there's... Sank heart, two regular heart containers, and then 38 pieces of heart. And hey, a bug, a bug net, net. Which, honestly, since all the bottles are guaranteed to be empty, uh, bug it's net's kind of a nice item. It is. Um, although, okay, confirm that those were 5-6 on Desert and Hera. Um, You'll love to see 5-6 in the light world. you just love to see three crystals in the light world, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, that bug net's nice, uh, except for with quick swap. It just means an extra LRR press to get, 
<laughs> to get through your items. Hey, and we found enough pieces of heart already for a free heart container. Yeah, now let's see if these runners are both uh, Lumberjack checkers. Uh, looks like Dante is going to head up and check Lumberjack. I'm assuming NY Rambler is going to as well, and looks like that is the case. Yeah. Tier 3 tree pool is just, just hearts. Not very exciting. Uh, you sure that's not Tier 2? Oh, yeah, Tier 2. Oh, eight, oh eight yeah. bombs on Bush, the uh, bush crab. Bush crabs are great. That That's a good resource to know about. Like, unfortunately, ne probably never going to utilize that information again the rest of the scene, but it's still <laughs> good to know regardless. I don't know, maybe when you go over to Ice Rod Cave or something. Yeah, depending maybe on what you find out of CAC. Um, but, yeah, we are not doing Aga for Lumberjack, that's for sure. No, definitely not for 10 arrows. That's 20 bucks. Danny going to skip that. Let's see what we have at the... Uh, the forest drop down here. Ten arrows. Plenty of arrows. No bow, but, you know, if you want to, like, you know, stab with your arrows. <laughs> this isn't Dark Souls. <laughs> I, I don't know. Special developer functionality. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have the runners heading into Kakariko Village here. Uh, Dante, just only a about six seconds ahead of Rambler right now, so very close race so far. And they are both doing the CAC open. No one's suddenly skipping to South Shore. Let's see Blind's hideout here, giving us just a little bit of money so far. There's that empty bottle, so we'll be able to do Sick Kid here. Yeah, you, you love to find a bottle before Sick Kid. It's just one fewer thing to worry about. Yep. And just a little bit more money. Did Rambler just skip the back? Uh, yes, it does look like Rambler skipped the back there. Uh, I mean, it's not going to cost him other than the 50 rupees he could have gotten in there. <laughs> Dante's trying to spin speed, gives up on it. I, I don't know if Rambler, like... Just feels like Dante's such a tough runner that he has to start making skips, or if he just flat out forgot. Uh, Ooh! I just missed. Oh, the mirror. It's a good find. Yeah, I can't do anything with it immediately, but it's sure nice to have. Yeah. Nothing else here in the well. Now, let's see if and when Rambler ever remembers that he didn't do the back of uh, Blind's Hut and decides he has to go back there. I would assume not. Ooh, May have already marked it off expensive his expensive artisanal bombs. Yeah, not great. Chicken hut. Oh, getting hit by the bomb there. Oh, Dante rescuing the chicken under the pot. G g giving the tribute to Sailor Nap. <laughs> That's what happens when your league teammates with Nap for several seasons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see what the sick kid has for us today, as well as the back of the tavern. And we'll pretty much be done our Kakariko route here very shortly. And then, yeah. well, library is a sphere one check with a boot start. Yep. And just 20 bucks in the back of tavern. Uh, surprisingly dry Kakariko, other than that. Oh no, what is this? Oh no, this is the. The, oh, he, he, he remembered. decided. I mean, yeah, well, he's going to feel even worse when he discovers that it's junk. And, hey, there's a shield in library that we are not getting. Definitely not getting. Yeah, and taking the opportunity there to save him quit. Of, oh, ooh, powder. Powder on a uh, race game there. Yeah, Dante so. about ready to save him quit, and then it's like, yeah, I might need that. Yep. Um, at the very, like at the very least, it's a very good safety to have, especially with this uh, modified item pool. Yeah, we can't do magic back quite yet, but at some point. And so the rambler gives us our first South Shore checks. Mirror is very nice for getting through the dam. Oh, Three hundred rupees. Yeah, there's Zora money. Well, I guess not, not quite not for Rambler quite. because of how he routed. But for Dante, it'll be Zora money. Okay. And just a piece of heart. 
at the dam, so not going to go grab that as Rambler heads over to Mini Modorm Cave. Another one of our five item entrances here. And depending on what we come out of here with, like, these runners might still be pretty much on, you know, just the same trajectory for a while, depending on what they find. Cause yeah, the, the main difference is Rambler didn't go get that powder. Yep. I'm sure he'll get it at some point. Yep, and it's unlikely to actually be, like, required, but again, with... With the modified item pool, the relevance of that powder cannot be uh, overstated. Uh, there wasn't too much in Mini Motorum Cave. We do see Rambler here heading over to Ice Rod Cave. Pretty. Oh, Dante's gonna have to be careful here. Down to his last mm. heart. Okay. Kills that mini Mordorm and will be rewarded here with enough heart pieces to get him to his fifth heart. Yeah, and that, that actually is also good because having just refilled our hearts, we don't need to worry about a refill if we uh, water walk to yep. Waterfall Cave. Yep. And there's a glove in Ice Rod Cave. That's a nice find. Uh, that could get us to the mountain out of logic, and we could actually do Hera. Yeah. Um, don't know... I mean, we might say, okay, Rambler actually deciding to save and quit. Did set yeah, up the that, water walk, but decided yeah, that, against it. That was odd that he went to the trouble of setting it up, even as far as bonking. <laughs> okay, so he's he wants to go clean up those two checks over in Kakariko okay, that he so, had missed. So I'll get powder. What, what do we have in logic, though, with Gina and Saha's closet in the beginning of Eastern? Yeah, that's it right now. Uh, uh, we also have Zora. Oh, right. The glove puts Zora in logic. Yep. And Rambler's seeing that powder and is just like, dang it, like... Uh, Dante going to go over here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, just a big 20 on the island. Big 20. Uh, is going to skip man under the bridge and just head straight to... To waterfall, which makes sense. Uh, without the moon pearl, if we do man under the bridge, we lock ourselves out of being able to do this. And we get a flute Ooh. out of logic, which is a really nice find. So, so now mountain becomes Ooh. really attractive, even. In a, oh, okay. So get a blue potion. So spending it to get a magic refill and then immediately getting another blue potion here. Nice. Um, because of Rambler not going to be able to do waterfall cave unless he goes all the way over to set up another water walk, it might be a while before he gets to that, um, that flute. Uh, okay, don't need Zora Ledge. Let's see what 500 rupees buys us, though. It looks like Rambler is going to head up to the mountain here. Which is going to be slow for him without that flute. And we just get our second bottle here on Zora, so 500 bucks for a bottle. The bottle economy is rough these days. Which is also Dante's last bottle. Yeah. So Dante's going to go activate the flute while Rambler goes through the uh, the dark cave here to rescue the old man heading up the mountain. Uh, one of the more important dark rooms to learn uh, when you start learning this game. Um, and also, fortunately, one of the easier ones. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of pits, a couple of bats, but especially with a sword, it's not bad. the man going to give us bombs. Yes, bombs. And again, yeah, with, no without, the, bombs. without that lamp, and so uh, the old man not being in logic, not too surprised that we didn't see much there, because who knows where that lamp could be. Yeah, we, we basically need lamp or flippers to put the mountain in logic. So Dante going to check Saha here, which with the flute is a pretty popular play by a lot of runners. Uh, to specifically go over here just for Saha. Oh, well, there's another bottle in Spec Rock Cave. I don't think Rambler's going to get it. It's a very slow bottle. Uh, very out of the way. And uh, probably will grab that rare full heart container on top of oh, yeah. 
100%. Oh, and there's our map check. Um, Green Pendant Skull Woods and our other pendants are at uh, Thieves Town and Swamp Palace. And Zaha's Closet was just a bunch of nothing. So we might not even really need those flippers if we, as long as we sequence Break Flute. Yeah. It's true. Alright, so Rambler heading into Hera here. Dante will be here not too long from now. I'm going to rescue the old man here from the uh, from the back, and the first of the two uh, Hera items is just fifty bucks. Uh, Rambler saying, "I don't need that," and hoping for a big key here and gets it. There so. we go. Can't terapot without the hook shot, so we have to climb normally. <sighs> Anti better get his three bombs. Rambler taking care of the uh, the blue beetles. I don't know what they're technically called. Heading up Hera while Dante's climbing the mountain here. Going to see that uh, bottle that's not a bottle. <laughs> yeah, it'll be five rupees for Dante. Ooh, Ooh. and a hammer in Hera okay, is the so, second so item. Yeah, lamp or flippers need to be somewhere like a Gina or Eastern. Yeah, more than likely. Um, not too much else that can really get us to that hammer here. Although, interestingly, the Moon Pearl is still out there. Yeah, right. We don't actually have Dark World access yet. Oh. But the hammer oh, gives oh. us East Death Mountain. Wow, what is... Wow, Th that is a nasty <laughs> Moldorm. <laughs> I have never seen Moldorm act that way before. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, oh, that was a heck of a hit. Wasn't expecting him to go off the platform at that distance. Did you want to get the good news that uh, hair basement is not required at all in the seed? Although, the uh, hair basement, like, from a viewer standpoint, is always interesting because... Uh, it, it's it's fun when Rando has interesting decision points, and us finding the two items just naturally along the way of beating the dungeon just kind of eliminates those uh, some interesting decision points entirely. But yeah, Rambler getting the first crystal of the race at about 18 minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, I think you have to go to East Death Mountain now after found the hammer. Like eight. Thousand percent, you'd be <laughs> absolutely insane not to, because our moon pearl is probably over there. Right. And you have a lot of information about what's in Eastern, or else it'd be an I guess. Yep. Just a red rupee up there on the floating island. Dante and the uh, Moldorm fight. Uh, Rambler going to do uh, Spiral Cave here over on the right side. Three hammer hits on Dante's side, and Moldorm is down. How do you strong arm me into comms when I'm this tired, Jesse? <laughs> I'm tired too, but uh, j just to put in a plug, <laughs> Speed Gaming Live is awesome. It is also exhausting, but if you come, you will have so much fun. You will get to meet all your favorite <laughs> rando runners. You know, highly recommend it. You'll just also be tired. Yeah, you will be very <laughs> tired. All right, see what Paradox Cave has for us here. And there's that Moon okay. Again, that saying. actually gives us a lot of information. We know that uh, either the, fl the flippers or the um, lamp the lamp are out there. Yeah. But interestingly enough, on Rambler's side, he just knows that the lamp or the flute is out there because he doesn't have that knowledge of the flute location. Ooh, shovel. Interesting. We but we have the like mirror, so we can, you know, com combo that with Stumpy. Yeah. All right, nothing else really there in Paradox Cave, but, I mean, the pearl is a pretty big one. Yeah, so we're clearly supposed to be up here, and at some point maybe we'll figure out how we were supposed to be up here. <laughs> yeah, probably not until we get a bow. Or, I don't know, maybe we'll get the mitts and combo. <laughs> Um, 
combo um, Meyer with Desert and check a Gina while we're doing that, and the Gina will yeah. be the answer. So uh, Rambler are going for um, Dark World access via Village of Outcast, Kakariko Village. Uh, pretty, um, pretty standard yeah. play here given the loadout. Um, I, I mean, if Skull Woods were a crystal, this would be great. You have the fire rod, you just will clear it. But and not only that, but Skull Woods and Thieves Town are pendants here, so this opens up some interesting routing up, uh, possibilities. The Rando gods runners. hate us, is what it comes down to. And it looks like Rambler actually, yeah, going to skip out on Skull Woods here. Um, can't say I disagree with the play. Um, yeah, honestly, I like Dante's play better start with Hype Cave. Yeah. Um, primarily just because of those two dungeons being pendants. Yeah, and, you know, between this and K45, Stumpy, Shovel, um, Dig Game, that's like nine checks. You could turn up a bow pretty easily, and then Pod Eastern becomes a very good play. All right. All right, Hype Cave so far, having Bombos Medallion and the Book of Medora. Okay, now, now maybe, well, you can combo in Bombos while you're, ooh, Hookshot and C-shaped house. But okay. yeah, Dante has to think about whether he wants to check Bombos while he's out this way. Without the Master Sword, like, it, it's a tough sell. Um, I mean, obviously, knowledge is very important. Um, but it's like, Knowledge versus like four other checks that you actually get the items. And he's not giving us any yeah, items. Yeah, the, the big key and the small key. This is one of those. This is gonna be one of those interesting pendant thieves where it's like you're gonna have like a three item back. We could have the compass and the map in the front and a four item back. I was just trying to you know <laughs> be a little nice to our runners here. I'm just a pessimist through and through. Well, there's the compass. <laughs> See? Map anyone? And... Okay. okay. Piece of heart. So, but okay, still. Rambler deciding, you know, I only want uh, to do the front four. Completely understandable. One item in the front, though, meaning three items in the back. Uh, did Rambler do C-shaped house? Yeah, he got the hook shot out of oh, C-shaped house. Oh, right. You did say that. Uh, we're going to head over here now to Skull Woods. I'm interesting. I'm interested to see. <laughs> Dante turns down another shield. <laughs> uh, I'll be interested to see the routing here for Skull Woods from Rambler. It looks like we're going to do back to front. Uh, or at which, least middle to front. Yeah. With it being a green pendant, I wouldn't be surprised um, to just do full back to front. And then head over uh, to uh, Graveyard Ledge and King's Tomb. Uh, Dante making the play that makes a lot of sense from his side, getting that Book of Medora again. Well, and this will give him Pyramid Fairy. Pyramid Fairy, yeah, with the two, five, six crystals. Uh, just a small key there in the center. Uh, so Rambler not going for that green pendant just yet. He's going to see if he can just get two items out of the front. Um, Odds are stacked a little bit against you with uh, Moth having to have a non-small key. Um, but we'll see if Rambler can pull two items out of the front here. Or sometimes it's a big key leading. Well, a big key is a non-small key, but if it's a big key, it has to lead to a non-small key. Yeah. Um, and so far, nothing in Skull Woods here. Dante going to get the small key here. Uh in Desert Palace Ugh. and we're still at ugly front of Skull Woods so Dante are <laughs> not even having any items out of this dungeon pure yet pure junk um, I'm pretty sure at least we did not see any items out of the front of Desert so I'm a little surprised I, to see him just going straight to the boss I, I didn't see Desert Ledge I assume it was junk yeah I don't remember exactly what it was, but clearly we're not interested in it. I think I want to say it was like a blue rupee. And bumper ledge is junk. But this is probably gonna be graveyard ledge and king's tomb. Yeah, absolutely. 
But the question will be where do we go from there, right? Like, All right. He, we don't have flippers. I mean, uh, you can Kern jump. Yeah, but and I don't you want and, to. and I don't know Rambler's um, comfort level with Kern jumping. I have to imagine he's comfortable with it. But the bigger question is, do you want to? Yeah, if you're comfortable with it, it's not a very. I guess you uh, check pyramid. Oh, oh, red red cane there in uh, graveyard ledge. That's a big find. We from absolutely Rambler. need that. Uh, Dante here in the uh, Lamb Wallace fight. Not quite getting the one cycle, but gets a very clean two cycle there. See what we get off the Lamo. Just 300 rupees. And like I said, I think there is still a second item in the yeah. front of the desert. Yeah, right side. We haven't gone right side yet. There's and a mushroom in King's Tomb, so. See if Rambler decides to turn that in immediately or decides to hold on to it for a little bit. Well, now he we doesn't have the flute yet, so turning in the mushroom is a bit more of a production. It's true. All right, Dante heading back into Desert Palace here. Going to go for that second item on the right side. Meanwhile, Rambler kind of following now along on that South uh, Dark World loop. Going to start here with Hype Cave and see if he decides to go... Uh, east towards Pyramid um, or west towards Dig Game, but with that book, I would imagine it's west towards Dig Game because that book opens up Desert Palace, and again, that 5 6 crystal makes Pyramid, uh, Pyramid Fairy already available to these runners. And so here's going to be our second item in the desert and jump. Worse than junk. <laughs> A penny for your thoughts? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but we will see a Gina, which could be the lamp or the flippers. Yeah, and if it's not, we know for a fact that one of those two is in uh, Eastern Eastern Palace. Rambler was like just low enough to not get hit by that tree. All right, and Agena here going to give us what? Oh, there's, there's the lamp. Okay, so uh, we're it, back in logic here. On it, except Dante's for the side. flute. Except for the flute, yeah. But we haven't used that flute actually like do anything yet. Right. We, I mean, except get around a little quicker. Right, but until we have the mitts, it doesn't add anything. Now, Dante obviously just going to go straight to Pyramid Fairy here, uh, looping that in with Pyramid uh, Ledge, giving us three checks. But then the question becomes, do you do the really, really, really slow catfish play here, or do you go Pot Eastern? Yeah, and he doesn't have the hook shot to hook around to Graveyard Ledge. No, he does not. Now, um, there's, there's some interesting, like, randomizer... Uh, kind of like game theory in a sense where it's like if if you're these runners right if you're Dante uh, part of your well if you're Dante or if you're Rambler uh, either or uh, some of your routing decisions can be driven based on how you perceive your skill level versus that of your opponent um, if you perceive yourself as a much stronger player from an execution standpoint, uh, you can be a little bit more conservative with your play and do a lot more checks that you might normally otherwise skip um, in order to try to gain an edge over your opponent. Um, hey, there's the third <laughs> shield, which we're still not getting. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, so we'll actually see if Dante... Oh, there's the bow. Never mind. Okay, Pod every, Eastern it is. <laughs> yeah, everything I was saying was leading up to, is Dante going to go to Catfish? And the answer here is decisively absolutely not. Um, but, yeah, that early Pyramid Fairy is key in the, the access we had to, yeah, uh, to Desert um, and Hera. And, like, this is going to be Crystals 3 and 4 for Dante. Um, and of note, like, Eastern being an early dungeon is one of those dungeons that you can reasonably dip um, early without the ability to beat it because it'll um, it, it can have early game progression, right? Yeah, I mean, and for our no mode, we're just mitts and ice rod away depending on what the medallion requirements are. I mean, we could need ether as well. Yeah. And sword, of course. But you just assume a sword shows up. Until it doesn't. 
Rando can be a cruel, cruel game. Hello, Three Swords and Pendant Swamp. <laughs> uh, let's see what Rambler decides to do here. Uh, if he decides to just go straight to the boss or do right side. See, I actually like the right side play here. When you know you found zero items and there's only three... Ch oh, there's the Mitt's first chest. Okay. Um, but yeah, when you know these two checks over here on the right, that one of them has to be an item, I don't really understand leaving the dungeon to go fight the boss and then run running back in here. So Dante needs to get to C-shaped house and graveyard ledge, and other than that, it's a nice rod hunt. Yeah, and the bad thing is, like, that graveyard ledge could be elusive for some time. Yeah, and Rambler, of course, needs to do Waterfall, Cave, and Pyramid Ferry. Yeah, the good the good news there being that Pyramid Ferry should be coming after Desert from Rambler's side. Um, I, I, I think the bottleneck on Rambler's side is going to be that uh, Waterfall Ferry, and I think the bottleneck on Dante's side is going to be that Graveyard Ledge, because they're both checks that... Um, at least from our vantage point, um, with what we know is coming logically for these runners, um, each each runner has like zero motivation to go to the check that could bottleneck them for yeah. quite some time in the seed. By the way, we found both non-small key items in the front, so we know everything else in the front is small keys, so we're just gonna yep. go to the back here. I feel like forever ago I heard uh, Pod described as the uh, the mullet dungeon because <laughs> you know it's uh, business in the front party in the back we haven't really found the party in the back yet and honestly mitts in the front is pretty nice <laughs> that is a party in the front to be quite honest uh, just mapping <laughs> compass oh, <geez. laughs> and uh, harmless hellway is a small key locking itself so the remaining four items Three in Dark Maze and one on the boss. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. Don't die on Astrasi. Okay, so see what these three items here in the Dark Maze are. Uh, we find out Peace of Heart, uh, unfortunately not giving us a uh, very uh, opportunistic heart refill here. Uh, See if Dante goes for a couple of the. Oh, there's there's that master okay, sword. Okay, now we're not in sword mode anymore. <laughs> um, we'll see if Dante decides to go for a couple of those hearts on the way back towards the boss, uh, just to be safe. Um, Dante's a very strong NMG runner, uh, so the the chance of um, Helma really messing him up here. Like, this isn't like a low percent Helma for Dante because right. this is like basically an NMG Helma. <laughs> Seven hearts. Yeah. Master sword. Uh, no, well, Rambler's going to get his lamp. Yeah, notably, Dante had to drop down <laughs> to get <laughs> that small key in the... Uh... But this, is, this isn't this is going to help Rambler figure out about the flute because as far as he knows, okay, depth. Death Lamp, that's, that's my logical access to Death Mountain, and, yep. you know, tells him nothing about the flute. All right, uh, Dante heading to the back here in the Mimic's room, going to head here to the Igor statue uh, for the cutscene. Meanwhile, Rambler is about to do uh, Pyramid Fairy and get that bow. We got some nice uh, music here while we wait for this cutscene to play. Yeah, you, I you think, know what MSU this is? It's um, I pretty interesting. I believe, um, I don't know this for a fact, but just based on like what I know Dante likes to use, I believe this might be Chained Echoes. Um, I know he's been like really all in on that MSU lately. Rambler is going for the bomb, dude. Should and, get it. Uh, yeah, nice. gets it just yeah. fine oh, there. Didn't even have to do that extra screen transition. He had it the first yeah, time. Yeah, I think it was just playing it safe. Uh, about to get that bow here, and uh, Dante heading back to the Helmasar King fight. And 
Ingram are about to get this bow and just be like, man, what is... What is this? <laughs> well, it'll send him to Pod and Eastern, so he'll get his mitts. I don't think we saw the bottle refill. Oh, it's just a B. Oh, that's rude. You want the Light World bottle refill, but Rambler hasn't been to that yet. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Right, nice little spin speed there, and Helmasar King giving us 300 rupees. We're certainly not going to be in financial trouble today. No. And that's our third crystal for Dante. We're going to mirror and get our fourth in pretty short order here. Uh, uh, now, Dante still doesn't have the mushroom out of... What was that? At? That wasn't the... That was King's Tomb. Yep. Right, so we can't... Um... Let's see uh, what we get out of... Uh, Eastern Palace here on Dante's side. But Rambler would be in a good position even without the flute to turn in that mushroom. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you could always just go south from Link's house and set up the uh, the fake flipper into a little uh, whirlpool there. It's not quite as fast as the, uh, uh, the flute route, but... Uh, Dante having to go to slow way around here to this uh, this chest over here on the right side of Eastern Palace. Again, not having that hook shot. And I'm pretty sure that was map compass for yep. two chests. So yep. we're, we're, <laughs> we're full clearing pod unless Dante decides to play a little bit aggressively. Yeah, I, I don't think you gamble the uh, yeah. big key chest because you know it's got an item. Yep. Yeah, usually... Or maybe it has the big key even, in yeah, which case definitely. you're absolutely forced to get it. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely a gamble you don't want to make. Uh, you, you make it more frequently when it, it's a 50-50 on whether or not it is an item. Oh. But when it's a guaranteed item, yeah, we're, we're probably going to be seeing that here on Dainty's side. It's just amazing we're halfway through the dungeon and haven't gotten a single item yet. But we're about to get one right here, and then it's just 20 bucks. So again, recap for uh, those watching. Um, we're looking for just the ice rod and maybe ether yeah um for these runners to be able to complete the seed of course uh dante missing the hook shot and the red cane uh the cane of samaria um uh, that rambler has and rambler missing the flute that dante has so um, and i guess technically the the master sword but he'll be getting that here pretty shortly hook shot is in c-shaped house samaria is in graveyard ledge and flute is in waterfall fairy which is still out of logic because we don't have those slippers and just five bucks here at eastern big key chest so we're about to head up to armos knights and see what we get here um, interestingly, Rambler, like, full clearing the front of Eastern um, before heading to the back. Um, I'd be shocked if he didn't know pod key logic, but... Um, being in a tournament like this with the stakes that they are and um, just, like, kind of normally figuratively on the stage but in this case literally on the stage um nerves can get the best of you at times oh definitely you actually have people watching you here in person we have this whole audience behind us and everything yeah. dandy not going for the error refill here uh, i'm just going straight to armos knights Going to be down to uh, six arrows at the end of this fight. Assuming he doesn't miss. Yeah, or get that one extra one for the wall. <laughs> or, oh, all right, so down to four. <laughs> and just getting a piece of heart for his troubles, but that does give him his eighth heart container. So where do, is he going to do catfish now? I doubt it. Uh, so thinking about what he still has available, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him head over to the Village of Outcasts area. Um, yeah. Maybe with um, Meyer area first, just to get that medallion information. Oh, um, uh, yep. As you exactly said. <laughs> yeah, and this and this is a very quick three item checks between Meyer uh, Meyer Shed and uh, Checkerboard Cave. 
Uh, right, he just has to not go in, and it is Ether. <laughs> okay, he's not going in. He's probably under the doormat here. Yeah, but also <laughs> without that red cane, probably not going to go in. It's going to hope for that red cane to show up elsewhere. Um, and not much here in Meyer yeah. Shed. He's not under the doormat. Uh, Rambler being able here on the right side uh, to get through this little room here in pot a little bit quicker with that red cane. Um, Dante, of course, having to push the statue onto the switch. Honestly, that's a bit of a relief, the Aether. We're not in an ice rod hunt yet. Yeah. And just 20 bucks there. Um, so again, as, as uh, mentioned before, Dante still has all of Village of Outcasts in North Dark World here ahead of him. So even though it seems like, um, well, actually not seems like, but definitely is from the viewer perspective, we're starting to get low on checks that these runners can do. Um, there's still quite a bit that each runner can yeah. do that the other hasn't Well, and done. Dante could do Smith Chain now, which we haven't seen. Oh, yeah, that is true. Um, and Smith and Chain. also Magic Bat, which we haven't seen. Yeah. Um, and not going to lie, um, with the way this seed has been progressing, um, now I don't subscribe to what some people say, like, you know, follow the logic or whatever. <laughs> like, if you find certain items, you should just start chasing them. I don't particularly subscribe to that, but, like, if, if you are the kind of person to kind of like follow the logic and follow the items that you found most recently, like you definitely are going to do Smith Chain here over going into the North Dark World area, and that's going to get you further away from your Cane of Samaria. Yeah, I mean, he will get his hook shot unless something really weird happens. And also, now having a Master Sword, that just makes Smith Chain even more appealing because you can combo in Bombos. That is true. Uh, curious to see if Dante uh, running a little bit lower on oh I'm not gonna have to be careful here Ooh, yeah uh, doesn't have a potion and is down to one heart here in the Sh should he use that powder and bug net to get some fairies yeah um, might oh Okay. Wow, nice. Very nice hammer hits there. Um, I didn't see if he armed spin speed or not, but those were some very clean hits. Yeah, if not. I mean, ha hammering Helma King is not easy. It is a small hitbox, even with your sword out. Yep. Uh, Dante also just getting that one item out of front of uh, Thieves Town and opting not to go to the back. Um, again, with quite a, a number of checks ahead of him, can't fall him for that decision. We got uh, that 20 bucks there in Brewery. Uh, Rambler about to head into Eastern Palace here, following in Dante's footsteps. Meanwhile, Dante going to go here to C-shaped house and get that hook shot. Um, and that hook shot actually um, could, s uh, again, kind of going back to reading the scene a little bit, uh, could set Dante up to Dark Death Mountain yeah. here uh, shortly. Um, it actually looks like Dante is going to opt for um, a more North Dark World play. Okay, so that will get him his Samaria. Yeah. I guess he just doesn't believe in Smith Chain. Um. Well, we'll ask him during the interview. Like, Smith Chain seems more appealing here. In, in a sense, yes, but also, um, he can't combo it with all those other South Dark World checks, which he's already done. Um,. Right, it, but, it would just be Purple Chest and Bombos Tablet going down that way. But this is, you know, not exactly a fast check either. Yeah. Well, he'll get his Mushroom too while he's out this way. Yep. Oh, and sacrifice the portal. Interesting. Yeah, very quick to just get, flute back to three and True. head into Village of Outcasts. Um, and does set yourself up nicely, actually, to do Smith Chain next, so... Yeah, um, probably a quick flute to two to turn in that mushroom, because we have powder, so why hold on to the mushroom? That is true, and we'll finally get that information. Uh, yep, immediately taking the <laughs> mushroom over here to, uh, to the potion shop, turning that in, see what we get here. Uh, Rambler heading over to Eastern Big Key Chest. And we have just a piece of heart here. Dante is going to pick that up, still being at a, excuse me, a heart's green mail. Does put another blue potion in that second bottle. So, um, as far as like health is concerned, um, Ooh, Dante, here's the ice palace. Okay, that makes sense. We have Samaria. We have hook shot. It's yep. Uh, you know, it's a crystal. Yep. Um. And, and yeah, Dante should be feeling pretty safe for the rest of the seed. Uh, might want to get one or two more hearts. Um, 
And obviously wouldn't be upset if Blue Mail shows up, right? Yeah. And Ice Rod or Ether could be in here. There's no reason they yep. can't. Yeah, again, those are the only two items that we are still looking for collectively between these two runners yeah. to uh, have all the knowledge that we need to be able to finish the seed. Of course, we'd love to find Tempered or Silvers who wants to yes. do Master Sword Silverless. And remember, to going with the uh, hookshot strats here. Remember, oh, also, there is no half magic in this item pool. Correct. That, so those blue potions, uh, even more important from that standpoint. Uh, Dante is just going straight over to do Icebreaker. Is not going to hit the switch. That's, that indicates that you know he is, of course, planning to uh, full clear this dungeon, which makes sense. We're not yet in go mode. Uh, just gets a blue boomerang there out of the icebreaker chest. You're not going to say no to that. That can always be useful in, like, GT basement. I do find it interesting, like, how that uh, chest has, at least to a lot of people, changed names. From <laughs> now the, it's icebreaker. <laughs> yeah, inst instead of the vanilla big key chest, it is now just the icebreaker chest. Oh, Rambo also having a bit of trouble with Armos Knights there and uses quite a few arrows. Uh, so far, it's just that boomerang still out of uh, Ice Palace for Dante. Yeah, we've we've gotten the map and the compass though. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Very important items. If this were doors. So what's left? Small key, big key, and two items. Uh, yeah. And uh, Rambler going to do Saha here. Had not done it earlier in the seed, um, and instead comboed it with Pot Eastern. This routing makes sense because if Big Key's here, then you can combo Freezor and Big Chest. But it's not the Big Key here, so Big Key must be in Freezor. Yeah. All right. So heading over here, like I said, to double Freezor. Going to get that Big Key, do the Big Chest, and then we're on to uh, Cold Stare. And this is the free direction for the bomb jump. You just... Kind of put the bomb somewhere and it'll work. <laughs> oh, Rambler getting a little uh, bad dead rock RNG there. Uh, but makes it through. We do find uh, our ninth heart container here for Dante. But ice definitely not the answer. Um, oh, Rambler signaling. the key. He needs to get the key yeah. from the next room. Yep. <laughs> Um, Rambler here singling, um, potentially an Ice Rodless Turtle Rock deck. Hmm. Depends if he can get in. We don't actually know the medallion. Yeah. But th there is enough stuff to do on Dark Death Mountain either yep. way. Yeah, we'll have six more item checks by way of uh, Hookshot Cave and Super Bunny Cave. Um, and yeah, we are playing the two thirds chance to be able to get into Turtle Rock here. So we'll see here in just a second. We have a double ether seed. I do kind of like Smith Chain as a play, honestly. It's you got Hammer Pegs, you got Magic Bat, you got Bombos, plus the two items that actually come from Smith Chain. So that's five items. Yep. And uh, I think Smith Chain's our next logical play here. Oh. Oh, key yeah, under the doormat. There. It was just the other doormat. Yep, it was just the other <laughs> doormat. Now, the interesting thing to me here is going to be, does Rambler dip into Turtle Rock without the Ice Rod Ooh. here? Um, I mean, he'd be better served to do Meyer, but he still doesn't have that flu. Right. And But also, like, from our perspective, like... Turtle Rock might be the answer to continue the seed. Right, I mean, maybe <laughs> flippers are in Turtle Rock, and that's yep. how you're supposed to get the flu. Yep. And nothing here in a... Oh, yeah, this is uh this is a Turtle Rock dip, I think, because yeah. we don't have Cape, we don't have uh, Blue Cane. Right. So I, we're I, not doing a Spike Cave here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think you're going to cheese Spike Cave. Or maybe you're cheesing Spike Cave. Oh, no, Ether. We haven't pulled ah, it yet. Yes. Dandy also going to the mountain. Hmm. Well, th this will get him Meyer because yep. Ether's up here and he can full clear Meyer. Yeah, Dante's going to go up through um, Super Bunny Cave here. Yeah, Ether Tablet, not the answer, and Rambler's off the mountain. 
I don't know, is Rambler gonna fake Flipper at some point? What's he got left? I mean, he still has Smith Chain. Oh, true. Um, what are we... We've had that powder since, what, Pod? Powder came pretty early. Desert? I don't remember, actually. We've been sitting on the powder for a while, in any case. Yes. Because we... No, it wasn't Pod, because we got it before Hammer. This is Catfish. Okay. Catfish could be the answer. Um, and interestingly, we can splash delete, so this could be Catfish Waterfall. Guess we'll see if he does that. Uh, Dancing in that ether, so probably would be taking that straight to uh, Misery Mire here. Yeah, it's another crystal. You only got two crystals to go. Uh, we are going to turn in the Mushroom on Rambler's side while we're on our way to Catfish, so this actually makes a lot of sense. Excuse me again for yawning again. Drossy dragging me uh, <laughs> to commentary. The, the just late, on, like, late hour of 10.10 at night. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, there's more races happening as late as starting at midnight this evening, and I don't know, I didn't even check to see if there are any later than that. Well, the latest I saw is 12.15, and bless Sinak, he's going to stay up to proctor them. All right, okay. and this is Misery Meyer here on Dainty Side. Yep. And here's Catfish from Rambler, so... I mean, if this is Ice Rod, that could be something. It might take Dampy a while to get here. If this is... If this is Ice Rod, and Rambler successfully splash deletes, I think it's his race to lose. Well, then he's in go mode. Right. Doesn't even want the blue mail, come on. Yeah, uh, saw and like he's not splash deleting. Yeah, saw he kind of made a face after mirroring, so maybe it was one of those like, as soon as you press the button, you're like, oh, I should have just grabbed that. Like it would have taken me three seconds. Did you notice that Dante did not toss the burb? I I'm ashamed. I am ashamed to be a fellow league admin with someone who would not toss the burb. You know, he's playing for the win. No, <laughs> no time, no time for memes when you're trying to win. <laughs> But chat, and, chat stonks and shambles. And just a reminder that including, like, the bonus, we've got almost $3,000 in the prize pool for this tournament. Yeah, so, you know, probably going to be a, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, well over $1,000 to the winner of this tournament. Yeah, maybe closer um, to 1500 even. So Rambler running out of here, which might be a... Uh, Waterfall. That also reminds me, if you want to contribute to this tournament, uh, donations are still open. Uh, let's see if we can get a link here in chat. But uh, Ooh, there's the K to burn up for dancing. Yeah, that, that Speed Gaming Live link at the very bottom. You can donate to the prize pool for this or any other tournament at Speed Gaming Live through tomorrow night at midnight. Oh, Rambler went back for that blue mail, but did not do... <laughs> the uh, Waterfall Fairy. Again, I don't know if it's a uh, unwillingness or just un like you know not comfortable enough with the uh, the splash delete. Uh, nice place for the big key there. Yeah. Um, did we find any items? Uh, we found the Cana Burna in the, okay. uh, the spike chest. Um, so Dante going to head straight to the boss here, hoping to find the second item. Um, be interested to see if he comes back in. Um, Running out of places, unless he wants to start diving TR. Something really funny just happened over at SMZ3. What? I don't know. They were just all laughing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought you had inside information. No. All right, so yeah. But yeah, if you want to check out Speed Gaming Main at the same time, you know, due, due to Windows, they're sitting right over there. <laughs> yeah, hi, SMZ3. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we uh getting some spooky action here from Dante, heading Very over nice. to Vitreus. Now, um, Ice did, did Rambler from... get hit while fake flippering? He seems kind of stuck. Yes, and this is going to be... Oh, is this... The... Oh, no, he's hard resetting. Wow. When was his last saving quit? I think it was pretty recent, actually. 
I think he saved and quit to Link's house after Catfish. Yes. Yeah, Ch Chap behind us is saying he saved and quit recently, so... But that is unfortunate. It's, even if he didn't lose progression, it's still quite a bit of a loss of time. Yep. Um, I didn't see exactly, like, what he was trying to do. Was it Man Under the Bridge before Ice Palace? I don't know. Oh, oh wait, no, it was, uh... He was trying to fake Flipper to Waterfall. Oh. Because that's where he got hit, was on the Waterfall screen. Dampy, um, Dampy. tight on arrows. Yeah, I'm going to just wait for this last eyeball to come over here. And he's like, what, what are you doing, bro? All right. Okay. There we go. Uh, Ice Rod from Go Mode. If you don't get an item here, I feel like you go back into Misery Mire, but... Well, there is an item in there. At least with the big key being on left side, there's a decent chance there's a small key in the cutscene, so you can save cutscene for last. Yep. Um, but also, Dante does have all Smith Chain and Ice Rodless Turtle Rock. I mean, Do you go Ice back? Rod's always on Laser Bridge, right? Yeah, he's leaving. A completely defensible play. Oh, Rambler stored the water walk here. I like that strategy. Um, Dante is... Not Waffle House drive throwing, driving through. Is this... But this will be Rambler's flute, finally. Yeah, this is Turtle Rock from Dante. Well, we'll, we'll see how Rambler plays Meyer now that he has the flute. Not throwing anything into the uh, the waterfall. Hmm. Did he fill up his bottles when he turned in mushroom? Probably, actually. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no. There's a, there's always a logical explanation for like doing something like that, and that's probably the most reasonable. <laughs> So yeah, Dante here heading into Turtle Rock. Why not? It's like five checks. Yeah. Maybe six if Trinex doesn't have an item. I'm including Mimic Cave. Yep. And we can go out and do Spike Cave, which is now in logic with that cane of Burna. Sure as heck can. This is a little bit aggressive because from Dante's side, he still has Skull Woods. Um... Still has Smith Chain. Oh, great. Chat's already hoping for uh, Ice Rod on Ped. But we still don't know where the heck those flippers are. They've got to show up somehow because yep. they put the flute in logic. Yep. But we can't think about Ped until we have the flippers. Yep. But, yeah, Skull Woods, uh, we never did see the items there. It has two items plus the green pendant turn in. Okay, yeah, there's our first item out of Turtle Rock, just a uh, piece of heart. Meanwhile, Rambler in Ice Palace, just uh, a little bit past the uh, the Icebreaker chest. Um, going to find out the same information Dante d uh, did. I mean, he's got a nice blue here. Ring. Yeah, It's true. All right, Dante getting the big key to Turtle Rock there on the left side. So we have a, a one small key, one big key, one item. Uh, turtle Rock opener. You still gotta do Lava Chest, you're not in go mode. Yep. And Chain Chomps has to have a small key. Yep. See, Bloomerang coming in handy already. Yeah. Alright, the Chomps uh, cooperating a little bit there for uh, Dante. Always good to see some cooperative Chomps. Rambler taking a very different route through ice than Dante did. Yeah. I think Dante's route was probably a little bit more efficient and hedged against the big key being here in uh, ice tea. Rambler. Oh, already did freeze or I assume. I think so. 
Got the big key, did the big chest. I just had to clean up iced tea. Wow, Dante successfully avoided the bunny beam on the way to Lava Chest. That, that's kind of impressive. Unusual, yeah. Harder than it looks. We did get one of our rare full heart containers in Lava Chest. Yep. Uh, up to 11 hearts. Still only green mail, though. Uh, did not do catfish, so has not gotten that, uh, that blue mail. There is another mail upgrade out there. Yeah. Although Rambler is not going to know that it's a mail upgrade. Right. <laughs> uh, if and when he finds it. And by the way, put out a plug. Do give these runners a follow. They are both really longtime members of the community. Uh, great guys, you know. <laughs> Man. <laughs> SMZ3 just having a lot of fun over there. <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs> they have to keep it down over there. All right, let's see what Mimic Cave has here for Dante. It is just three, blo three well, bombs. We, we also know that Dante is from the school of thought that if you're go minus one, you still do Mimic Cave before Big Chest. Yes, I'm of that school of thought, too. <laughs> uh, Rambler going to drink one of the uh, blue potions that he has. Was getting uh, getting down low health on health there. Um and using a potion is always faster than dying. <laughs> Especially dying to cold stare. That is bad. Yes, it is one of the worst deaths you can take in a dungeon, I'm pretty sure. So, okay. Rambler at five crystals. Dampy at six. Rambler will undoubtedly go to Mire next. Yep. Yeah, we get a small key here and Had crystal roller. It. Yep. And uh, three items still in this dungeon. Yep, that sounds right. Three items, a small key, and a map. But again, we're, we don't have that ice rod, so we might only find two more items. Yeah. Um, and then while you're up here, um, well, you can't mirror because that would just take us back to Mimic Bridge. I guess you go out the emergency exit and drop down and go Back all around the around yeah. to Spike Cave. I mean, at that point, you just flute the one and... Yeah. But you, I feel like you do want to do Spike Cave. Oh, there's, there's the flippers. The flippers. What's the flute in logic? Also puts pet, pet in logic. <laughs> so now Chat can get their pet hype in, which we know they've wanted to do for a while now. And is that? Uh, that's not all items yet. No, this could be the map though in the last one. 50-50, yep. last item or map. Uh, Dante taking the safety here. Uh, <coughs> he's down to three hearts, so. And just the map. So Trinex has the last item. Ice Rod is not here. So where is that Ice Rod again? Could be on pedestal. And of course, Rambler's now doing the Mire area. Um, and the question is, will he get the second item out of Mire? And Dante does not want to do Spike Chest. Uh, with no Spike magic, chest. can't play. Oh, with. fair enough. I, well, he has a blue goo. He does. And he could easily, he has enough money he could flute back to two to replenish that. Yeah, but the other thing with, with Spike Cave, and it's part of the reason that, like, I just never do it, like, it's resource know. intensive, and it's also, In general, oh. Is this swamp? It is. <laughs> oh, boy. And that's what I'm saying. That's an argument for not doing Spike Cave. Sp <laughs> a, Spike Cave is a save and quit or a flute to one because away. Because who doesn't want to do Pendant Swamp? Five items. Six. Um, Six items. You know, I know my dungeons. <laughs> uh, uh, Dante down to, like, basically zero health and just ignoring that anti-fairy. Bold. <laughs> uh, he can always just take an intentional death in here if he really wants the refill. Which honestly is not unreasonable. Oh, nope, he wants to continue. How's the good, Rambler playing this? The good news is, like, like, Swamp doesn't have a whole lot that can just, like, completely wreck your day, but it also just has, like, a lot of stuff that yeah. can kill well, that's you. one way to farm hearts. Yeah. There's that uh, blue cane for Rambler. Right. 
still no sign of either of the two remaining swords or silvers. They're probably in GT at this point. Nice specky clip there from Dante. Yeah, he definitely needed a bit of health to do that specky clip. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't even think of that. Especially since he's still on green mail. <laughs> We're definitely going to pick up these pots for their Ooh, hearts. Ooh, both invincibility items in my oh, Wow. But that's uh, bad for Rambler because that means that... Well, could Dan really point him to Spike Cave. That's true. Might also make the Viddy fight a bit easier with Cape. Uh, why did Dante skip the big chest? He has the big key. Because he forgot he has the big key. <sighs> He's getting <Okay>. old. <laughs> That's the only reasonable explanation. I get to give him a hard time for it in the interview. That, that, that's quite something, because the big key was in the map chest. Yep. All right. <laughs> interesting. Oh, I was about to say, interestingly, he went for the Bomb Diver down instead of Red Cane, but he also has no magic, so he couldn't do the <laughs> Red Cane Diver down. Well, I, I guess on the bright side, beating Argus will give him a full magic refill. It's true, and getting up to 12 hearts, almost at the maximum. Here we are in the Argus fight for Dante. Not a very fun fight with Master Sword, to be honest. No. Like, I feel like even the best runners, like, have some struggles with this fight. Uh, and you're kind of at the whims of Argus's RNG, right? If he does a bunch of, like, short movements, you're usually fine. And Dandy can't even use Fire Rod strats because he has no magic. Nope, so just going to do four Master Sword spins here. M meanwhile, Rambler with that cape, yeah, th this is a much nicer uh, way to handle Master Sword Biddy than with Burna. Yeah, but the Burna... Well, oh, well, well th there's finally a blue mail for Dante. Yeah. Um, the thing is, though, that, that cape uh, blew through Rambler's magic a lot faster than the blue cane would have. That's okay, he has a blue goo. I feel like if you're going to use the cape here for this fight, you should just do exactly what he's doing now and spam slashes. And Dante's out. Okay, so that could really burn him if it's in Swamp Big Chest, which he walked right by with the big key. Yeah, I'm really honestly, like, this is like the first time in this seed um, that I am kind of confused by Dante's play. He's one item from go mode. This is kind of when, like, if you're dipping pendants, you should just be thorough. And because I think we got the map and the compass in Swamp, so we left three items in there. We definitely got one. I don't know if we got both. Uh, but, you know, in my, in my state of delirious tiredness, uh, no. Okay, cannot be Smith's so sure. Play, or is this Back of Thieves, which still has three items? It's Back of Thieves for three items, and then Skull Woods for two, and then a blind pet pool. Oh, boy. I say that half-jokingly and half-seriously. <laughs> I, I mean, I can believe it, especially since he's prioritized um, Just finishing back the pendants. Of thieves. And it's not even the green pendant. No. I guess given where Skull Woods finishes you, it makes sense to do that as your third pendant, even if it's also the green pendant. Yep, uh, Rambler finding that checkerboard cave just with uh, 20 rupees, so um, i gonna have to figure out where he wants to go next. This might be a uh, spike cave play. Seems reasonable. Nope, he's no. off to TR. It's the only thing this can be, right? Yeah. <sighs> Any more 
Ice Rod could be right here in the attic. You never know with Ice Rod. Just 20 bucks. Yeah, that's the bad thing about Ice Rod is when you need it as your last item, it can be literally anywhere in the game except for Ganon's Tower and on Trinex. Yeah, possible to last location anywhere. I mean, I guess this will net Rambler his flippers. Yeah, but at this point in the seed, are you interested in finding those flippers? Well, if Ice Rod is in one of those Swamp Palace checks that Dante skipped, that could yeah. swing the race. And I know Rambler would love to get a win on the board. For sure. Like you said at the beginning of this, uh, Rambler pretty much needs a win in this race to stay in the running for brackets. Yeah, a 0 and 3 I don't think you can really recover from. All right, we do have a guaranteed fourth item on blind here in Thieves Town. Let's see how Dante's uh, blind script decides to look. He never saw the point of pyramids. Nope. And so far, phase one and phase two, very well done. Very nice uh, blind fight here by Dante, going to net us three bombs. Something blue, just not the blue thing we wanted. Yeah. So where is it? I mean, what do we have besides Skull Woods, Green Pendant, Ped, and the remaining Swamp Checks? Uh, we still have all of uh, Smith Chain. Oh, right. Duh. But this is the Skull Woods play. It's got to be. I'm uh, going to check uh, Bumper Ledge here real quick. Didn't Not do that this he ever got the cape. Yeah, but then he, if, it, if the Ice Rod's here, you have to go find that cape. <laughs> yeah, and Meyer probably would not be high on his list. No. <laughs> I think Dainty's going to do back to front here. Which will get him the items quickly if he does that. Yep. Um, and as you usually see most runners do when you do a back to front route of uh, Skull Woods here, you pretty much always check this chest along the way. Well, especially when you have Samaria. Yep. going to be great. You can have two small keys, so now you... Oh, you have to worry about that gimdo. Yep. Luxury in the back. Oh. I forget, did we confirm two items in the back, or is it possibly a, a big key? Um, it could be a big key. We haven't okay. seen the big key, so it's either two items or one item and the big key leading to an item. Yep. Just about to enter the uh, Mothula fight while Rambler is heading over here to the Turtle Rock <laughs> Dante Bridge. Dante gets the key anyway, force of habit. Um, could be just like hedging uh, if he has to do front. Um, just being able to go straight to the left without having to like go in, not find a key, do the drop down. <coughs> and it's a pretty quick key to get. Not behaving. There okay, we there we go. Nice moth fight there. Give him a little bit of trouble, but... And there's that big key. <laughs> Figures. Um, but that is three pendants for Dante. Now, here's the question. Does he even read the ped, or does he give the people what they want and I, just I, blind I think, pull it? I think at this point you have to blind pull. But you also should go back in and do bridge chest first. Right, absolutely. It would be silly to do ped before bridge chest. 
Uh, what if this is the ice rod? You just pull pet anyway. <laughs> Hoping for a sword or silvers. I didn't even think about that. I was just thinking about for the memes. Oh. I mean, I what I is... wouldn't do it for the memes, but sword or silvers, honestly. Uh, something was happening in the DMT in that room, and it wasn't great. And just three bombs. Again, another blue item, not the one we're looking for. <laughs> so I guess you pull pet, and then you backtrack to the big chest. Could just be that big All right, chest. this is a blind pull. All right. It's not going to be here. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> One arrow, yeah. That nod of approval from Dante. He's like, I got this. This is going great. <laughs> Rambler getting those flippers off Laser Bridge and, like, you know. Yeah, so Rambler will be into Swamp soon enough. Okay, yeah, here's the green penetrator. Oh, Dante is not even opening the Skullwood's big chest, which again has an item. Just like the swamp big chest that he didn't want to open. R Rambler has done a very good job, like this entire run, of like, rem oh, Temperance Sword is nice. Hey, that's something. But as I was saying, Rambler's uh, been doing a very good job of remaining like very stoic. <laughs> Like, when something good happens... Well, Dante's not done, so Rambler yeah. knows that, like, he didn't totally screw things up. Right. This is going to be one of those fun ones where, like, in the interview, Dante's going to be like, yo, did you blind full Ted? <laughs> and I'll be like, no. i be like, well, I did. <laughs> okay, now he's going back for Skullwood's big chest. Then he'll probably do Smith Chain, and yep. if it's not there, he'll be forced back into Swamp. Unless he really wants that cape out of Meyer. Yeah, we'll see here. Um, and we do know that the second item has to be here in this chest, so at least we'll get in and out of here pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh! Here's the ice rod. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so we so, are... So uh, what, Moth was required. Yeah, one hour, 17 minutes, and 30 seconds. Dante officially enters go mode. Nice, nice expression on his face, too. Yeah. The thing is, with all the crowd saying, oh, from what I've heard from the runners, even with the noise-canceling headphones, mm -hmm. Rambler has probably picked up that something just happened. Right. <laughs> um, and at the same time, Dante probably just picked up that we didn't already know that and <laughs> probably feels yeah. ahead. <laughs> That's also true. Yeah, from, from last year, I heard enough stories from runners about, you know, if the crowd reacts then if they get something big and the crowd doesn't react, they know their opponent's gotten there first. If the crowd does react, they know they got there first. <laughs> and conversely for, you know, if the crowd's reacting and you're not doing anything, you know your opponent must have done something. Right. Which is can be a, uh, a blessing and a curse. Uh, uh, so Rambler... Rambler. Yeah, uh, trouble with Specky Clip here. So I, I learned this. Um, you cannot stutter back into the bomb like he's doing. Oh, you have to make a fluid movement? Correct. Uh, now, he did stutter in that case, and you can get it that way. But if you if you stutter at the wrong pixel, it messes up your, lo uh, like your movement into the bomb. Um, and you won't be on the right uh, Y coordinate uh, to get the clip. Um, so yeah, you have to do oh. one fluid movement from the uh, left hand and side. And by the way, th there's Skelly, our tracker, waving to the camera again by request in chat. Hope you saw him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have him come on screen and take a bow at the end. <laughs> yeah, trackers are the MVPs, to be quite honest. I mean, um, oh yeah, Rambler showing us those checks that did to yeah, just like Yeah, I skip. didn't actually catch what was in Big Chest there. Yeah, but I mean... Couldn't have been anything important because it I mean, wasn't the silvers, right. it wasn't a sword, and it was we know it wasn't any of the shields. <laughs> Amazing that we found all three shields and didn't get any of them. Because <laughs> yeah, they were they were all scoutable. Right. Which doesn't happen too often. Alright, so Dante going back through Turtle Rock here, about to enter the uh, the dark room. Uh, pretty easy room. You just take the optimal route through it and take one heart of damage along the way. 
Uh, Rambler going to show us these last two checks that Dante did not show us here. Um, in Swamp Palace, just 20 rupees. Uh, and then realizing, didn't hit the switch. So the red pegs were up. Hmm. That always sucks in ice. When you do that. In Swamp, when you do that. I was going to say, I was about to make a joke. Like, it, it sucks swamp in ice, but, su it but it really sucks in Swamp. One of those blue dungeons. Going to go back in and be. I, I don't like it. Well, Dante's gonna get a much nicer Trinex fight thanks to that green pendant. Yeah. Uh, with only red uh, tempered sword, you cannot get the zero cycle uh, Trinex fight, but still got a slightly faster fight than what you could if you waited for the heads. And also a lot faster than doing it with the hammer. Yep. Uh, so yeah, Dante about to finally uh, <laughs> get his seventh crystal along with ten arrows. And with seven, uh, seven crystals means we're off the GT. We already see a few numbers in chat yes. here. <laughs> Quite a few numbers. A couple of 22s because there's some horrible people in chat. <laughs> And just three bombs in that other left side chest uh, for Rambler here. You have a favorite chest ninja, bro? Uh, I don't. Um, I usually just like kind of pick a number because uh, the GT big key guessing game is just a thing that like <laughs> I stopped caring about in like fall of 2017. <laughs> Before even the 512 Swiss. Right. Um... <laughs> So, you know, I just, you know, I'm just like, whatever. Like, sometimes I'll pick a number just to go along with it. So, sure, let's just say 21. Uh -huh. Though, invoking the 512 Swiss, just <laughs> another reminder, Dante and Rambler were both in the 512 Swiss. That's how long they've both been part of this community. And the 512 Swiss, of course, referring to the Spring 2018 tournament with 512 players entered a massive Swiss tournament into groups into brackets <laughs> there were no groups it just went into a 128 person bracket oh that was the crazy part okay They've never my, done mem that my again. memory was incorrect <laughs> on that one um, okay. and we yeah. do see dark magician strats yeah. here from Dante so and a red meringue for his troubles yep unfortunately <laughs> In Hope Room, with that half magic that just turns into a small decanter, we'll see uh, if the Dark Magician strats pay off here Well, for there was a small key in Hope, so he could have just done Hope right, but yep. he didn't know that. You know, the, su the superior route for GT. I agree. <laughs> I'm really getting bodied by that spike. All right, uh, getting through the Gibdo room here is about to show us four more chests. I'm going to get the small decanter first because magic is at a premium without half magic in this mode. A small key actually, I think, oh, means guarantee. that there is a yeah. guarantee of big key in this room. So here we go, 11. Uh, who guessed 11? PZL91. Uh, and Dom Donomoto. So GG's, both of you. And, uh, yeah, Dante entering the climb here. Uh, Rambler still looking for that ice rod. Again, we know it is in um, Skullwood's big chest with the big key on Mothula. Um, Rambler actually going to go read Ped here. Uh, makes sense, actually, because then you know, well, actually the only two pendants you have left are, like, just super, like, Skull Woods, like right. it doesn't you're, take a whole lot to, like you're doing everything anyway, and Thieves Town, you're doing everything anyway. Yeah, you really want to do Thieves Town though, I mean. Like this allows you to like skip some chests on the way, but you're also not going to skip chests along the way because you're looking for a Tempered Sword or <laughs> the uh, Silver Arrows. Meanwhile, Dante is entering the Gauntlet here, see how Gauntlet goes uh, for him. Gauntlet 1, pretty smooth there. Uh, Gauntlet 2, interestingly enough, uh, Dante not 
going with any uh, fire outstretch here and instead uh, wants to just conserve his magic for the later parts, although I think he does still have that blue potion in his back pocket. I think um, so. at, at least one of them all. I think we used one uh, for something earlier, but though I can't recall what. Overall, very nice gauntlet except for this last Dalphos. Yeah, and yeah, this, this room specifically, you just want to have that fire rod ready. Yeah. Got a powder in here? Probably not. No. no. Uh, we're, we're at blue mail, four and a half hearts. We have powder, so we're going to be able to get the refill before Motorm 2. And from here until Motorm 2, there's nothing really dangerous that you're expecting four and a half hearts worth of damage to, like, kill you. Uh, having a little trouble here with uh, Lamo 2. Going to get the three cycle. Um, hey, well, we'll find out maybe the fourth sword or silvers is over here in this pain. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but yeah, part of that three cycle on Dante's side was really driven by um, just uh, conserving magic. Uh, just ten arrows and hammer pegs here on Rambler's side. We'll see what the smiths decide to give us. Um, and I think stuff to do magic bat as well, which I don't know if we saw that on Dante's side. We did not. D Dante never did anything over here. He's on torches one already. Yep, twenty bucks here from the uh, the Smiths. Uh, torches one goes very well. We are going to pick up the large magic decanter here because um, not quite not not quite enough magic to do torches two. Even with uh, actually, you might have been able to get four lamps out of it, but yeah, but I mean, might as well just be safe. And Not even looking for silver. Yeah, with Tempered Sword, um, and I'm certain Dante has been counting num uh, counting items in the dungeons, so, like, knows that there are just, one, so many checks out there in, like, Swamp Palace um, that he hasn't done. He hasn't done any of Smith Chain. And a good half or so, yeah, well, actually, like, exactly half of the GT basement, so there are so many other places that those silvers could be that it's very yeah. possible to be in these upstairs chests. But he did check that last one. Yep. And it was not the silver arrows. It was arrows, though. I've seen silvers in that chest. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, through the uh, mini helmet room here. Meanwhile, Rambler taking the purple chest home. Rambler goes through the fear agent gate. <laughs> <laughs> Once you see that saying, Fear Agent, you'll never be able to unsee it. Excuse me? That gate at the bottom of Village of Outcast, look at it. It looks like it says Fear Agent. <laughs> you can't unsee it once you see it. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to... You'll have to look next time you yeah. play a scene. I'll forget, though. <laughs> That's tomorrow morning. It's so long from now. And just a piece of heart in the purple chest here. So Rambler's starting to run out of uh, options here. But it's going to go over here to the uh, Bombos tablet. Uh, meanwhile, Dante about to drop into the Ganon fight. Should be just over 130 at the end of the day. Yep. I think he can get the Pretty one good one. time, all things considered, with a blind uh, pool of pedestal. <laughs> Definitely new salt dungeons. We did not need to touch thieves. Yeah. We didn't do uh, Castle Tower though, so right. not quite all dungeons, but pretty really dang close. Need to touch swamp either. No, we did not. So those and very nice one and one yep. by the way for the first two cycles. So those uh, flippers logically required, but not actually required for the seed. Right. <laughs> But you can't say no to them, so both runners went into Swamp. Yep. Oh, and here's uh, Spike Cave. So Rambler basically going everywhere except where he needs to go. But um, at the end of the day, like, that's rando. Yeah. I mean, Dante was in no rush to do uh, Skull Woods. Oh, and they were in his tower. Okay, the so Arrows. one of the other checks that we didn't see. But it's only 12 spins now. Yep, and we already got three. And he's done this a hundred times. Oh, I'll take the over. <laughs> it's probably close to like 102. 
we're already at the six spins, I believe. There was seven. Here comes eight. Uh, Rambler looks like heading back to Skull Woods. I think that's the only thing this could be here. Yeah, but Dante um, will finish before Rambler gets his go mode. Yeah, and I think, yeah, there's the uh, 12th. So get your GGs in chat. The only thing Dante still has to do here is cross the bridge. Um, looks like he's going to finish the scene with an approximate time of about 1.30.44. And that's time. And Rambler immediately uh, <laughs> just giving giving Dante the fist bump and uh, calling it quits. UG. He doesn't have to. It is now yeah. safe to turn off your computer. <laughs> okay, we will take a short break, give the runners a chance to decompress, you know, stretch, decompress, and then we'll be back here with an interview. Yeah, they'll be joining us here just momentarily. And I will be right back. As will I. Three still. <laughs> Did I get a map? I only, only felt saw one dungeon item and I didn't see a big key. You got the big key first, chest and just ran yeah. right by the big chest. Oh, cool. I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hard key. <laughs> <laughs> I bombed. Okay. Um, I forgot to open the chest. Or <laughs> uh, if you want to grab a mic and sit over here. It, it's over here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> grab the mic. Take a seat. Hey, what's up, Cross? You're yeah. lucky I didn't bring the other mics to like. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're, you're, you're doing barely a, to, uh, a spoiler walk podcast as we speak, right? No, yeah, yeah. I joked that, <laughs> I, I joked that I was going to do that, but uh, I ended up not. If you can lean. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we'll get comfy. I've never been this close to someone from Massachusetts before. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I think they need, they need to switch faces. It's not Dante. No. Oh. <laughs> it was like, on screen doesn't matter. In anyway, spirit. So apart from the ice rod hunt, what did you guys think of the seed? <laughs> apart from the ice rod hunt, I loved it. I, I was I was having a great time until the ice rod hunt started. Yeah, I mean the, everything kind of seemed to flow a little bit. You know, uh, I I was feeling real good about the whole like skipping village of outcast play into uh, desert and then like pyramid fairy for the bow. I'm like, oh, this is great. Then Mitch show up. It was like a big breadcrumb trail, so it felt like super cool. <laughs> Um, and then I, I, it was it was just a big luck sack that I got Samaria before I went to ice because I should I should have gone to ice so <laughs> yeah no that was the thing like you got the flute you got hookshot and Samaria and then we were waiting to see who'd get the other yeah one of you would yeah get the and items when you play in a live setting like this so like I saw like ten people leave at one time and I was like <laughs> I'm probably dead like. <laughs> I was like, the ice rod's probably somewhere, like, and he's got it, and like everything else is on the path. So if he got the ice rod, then you know he's all set. So uh, I was, I, I didn't really know how to feel the whole seat, especially after going through TR and then d doing ped. And when I pulled a single arrow, I was like, well, that ain't good. Yeah, the uh, 
we, I, I was actually joking. I was just like, you know, we're, we're watching you two play the scene. And I was like, Dante is like, like reacting to everything. I was like, man, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody as stoic <laughs> as Rambler when he's playing this game. Well, like, I don't want to give anything so away. Like, you, when, yeah, when I, so I play like... Something good can happen and he's just there like, when, something bad can happen. When I play, <laughs> so it's, it's 100% because of the live setting. Because if oh, you right. watch me and if I'm playing like on a regular stream, let's say on a ladder race, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't played Lens in the past in six months, but that's besides the point. <laughs> When I'm, whenever I'm playing this and I'm at home, I, I make my normal reactions. Like I roll my eyes when I open something stupid. Mm-hmm. Like when when I check the pedestal and says single arrow, I roll my eyes. <laughs> Why couldn't I try to be oh, there? Yeah, so I you just gonna... blind pulled it. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I checked. I checked it, and that's how many. And because I checked it, that's why I did the. I did Smith Chain before I did Skull Woods. Mm. So it's like, well, if, if it's Ice Dragon, it's go more to less dungeons. If it's not there, let me just do Smith Chain first because you know that's something that no one likes to do anyway. So. If, if Ice tries a purple chest, you never know. Yeah. I don't know Either if it... you noticed the whole ooh from the audience when Dante pulled the Ice Rod? No, I didn't. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. I, I didn't notice that, no. Uh, I, we were wondering. I we, tried to we be like... Well, Dante might I, know I think, the only, no, I think the only time... I, so, because I, I don't know what's going on on his screen, but see, when I'm on my screen, and I, the only time I heard anything when I opened something was when I opened the hammer, I think. I don't know mm-hmm. if I got the hammer first or not, but like the hammer was locked by. I think that was something. when Final Fantasy One Rando finished, and they started clapping. But no, no, no. That's still going on. Like, they're laughing. They're laughing way too much for the game. I mean, have you seen some a lot of that happens in that game over there? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you think Game's this good. is bad? <laughs> but yeah, overall, like you know, it wasn't too terrible. Um, I don't know. It was just very. I don't know, very linked to the pasty, I guess is the best way to put it. You know, you've seen it before, this, Ice Rod Hunt. This was so. a downside of Link to the Past, because like, oh, it's all great, for, it's front loader, we're having a great time. Oh, <laughs> Ice Rod Hunt, never mind. Yeah, yeah eventually the, the items stop, and I, I guess we talked, you mentioned this, and I don't know if the mics were hot, but apparently I, I thought, I, le- I said, I left one item in Swamp, and then Jimbro's over here like, you left three. So this th- like this tournament is the first time I'm playing with Specky Club Legal, so I have no <laughs> idea how to route Swamp anymore. Uh. <laughs> so I'm going back and forth, like I, I go for Diver Down, wait Diver Down, I don't have to do it anymore. Well, I oh, hit the switch, right. but I forgot to go into the room to reactivate the switch. Oh, oh, right. So I wanted to grab the key, specky clip, then just put the switch and leave it mm. on orange. But then I instinctively started going for diver down. I was like, well, I already came this way, so I might as well do it. And then I forgot to go up to the room to switch it back. So. I know I'm tired because I was sitting here thinking, what, where is there a switch in Swamp? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Young, Dante. No. <laughs> Left side doesn't exist, so there's no switch. <laughs> I've been there twice today. I was like, do I go back a third? That was the first, that was, that was the first time today I went to Swamp. <laughs> uh, well, I, I've been to Swamp, but the first time I didn't have to go mode it today. So three, oh, man. Three seeds. All the seeds blend together. Yeah, three three races in one day is a lot. Yeah, Shimar, yeah, Shimar yeah, did four in our group. Six is like killer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty rough. I got I got to rest up, you know. I got to do some rest training yeah, if you for tomorrow morning. In Gamma tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I'm going for the perfect record, 0 and five. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, I got, got this. I got this. So yeah, well, on that note, you know, Dante coming out of uh, first day of races, two and one. Uh, yeah. How you feeling going into your uh, last two races tomorrow? Um, I I'm feeling all right. Uh, you know, everyone's like, everyone's saying like, dude, you and Gamma get to play. It's going to be so excited. So like, so exciting. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I haven't raced Gamma <laughs> since late 2021. So should be, should be a really good time. I, uh, you know, I know it was going to be a rough one. So just going to have to play my best and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> I would say hope that something's on Catfish. But in this race that we had today, he did Catfish and I didn't. And it had my last location mitts. No, Dandy mm. just needs to hope for something on Bumper Wedge if he's playing Gamma. I haven't seen anything there yet. <laughs> oh, God. That, 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 that obviously doesn't exist. I've checked it all three times and everything. It's been, I think it's been 10 arrows, all three seeds. Hey, at least you got cape this time. Dan, Dan the, uh, we were wondering if Where, you go back into Meyer. Yeah, uh, that was going to be like... It was lobby chest, by the way. Lo- oh, yeah. I, yeah. I thought about doing lobby before going the back, and I was like, no, that's like two extra screen transitions, and <laughs> I, I, I felt like I was behind at that point because I, I really thought I should have dove TR while I was up there because... I had to reclimb anyway. I was thinking that also. And I was like, because uh, at this point I got all three medallions. And I don't know, I really was feeling bad about that mistake. Um, so I was like, we can't waste time in Meyer, just in case Ice Rod's up there. I was like, if it's in Meyer, then I just, I'll, I'll, I'll live on that, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know if any of them. I mean, I know that there are races. I don't know if any of them are scheduled for the stream here tonight. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I know people want to go to bed, but see people want to race. I, I know people people want to race at twelve thirty in the morning, but I don't know if they're going yeah. to or not. Easy people. Some uh, some people just. Uh, yeah, it looks like this was the last race on the restreams for the evening. At least for Link to the Past. Oh, definitely for Link to the Past. I mean, yeah, at least for Link to the Past. Still go over to 2 and watch the end of SMZ3. Yeah, SMZ3 is really hype. This is like a qualifier race, so it's literally not yeah. just... Uh, High stakes. Yeah, it's yeah. not just... Well, it, I think it seeds the bracket or something, but it's definitely not what, just... for uh, uh, Yeah, for, for SMZ3, yeah. Oh, SMZ3, okay. It doesn't matter whether we have people to stream that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we might have four and five up by tomorrow. You never know. Four looks like it might be ready. Oh, we have the machines. It's literally I know. like, you know, it's getting late at night. People right, right, right. I know, I know that for tomorrow, they, I've, I've been speci specifically asked to accommodate Z1R because of the lack of Z1R participation and in general. It's like, we need someone who knows Z1R. Get Rambler. And I'm like, I haven't played since 2019, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go for it. <laughs> I, I watch enough of it that maybe I could fumble through the commentary. <laughs> the That's, that is what people do all the time, and there's no shame in it, so go for it. <laughs> I'd probably sooner do cons for Super Mario 3 randomizer. Yeah. <laughs> but those people know, like, every They're single dead. level. Like, oh, know, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is 4-3. This is I... Okay, I haven't played sure. a, I haven't played Mario three right now, but I'm pretty sure I could know what every level. The only ones I'll have trouble with are like level six. Mm. So I think when I play casually, I almost never do level six. Yeah, I because yeah, I, I, I like level five a lot. So I always level five, and obviously I worked level seven just to experience level seven. But I don't think I ever did level six that often. So it was, yeah. so it was like if, if you said, oh, I was level six was ice. Um, is it six four or six five or six six? Seven? Yeah, I usually struggle the most on that with like level two because I you know one item versus three. So I you know I can't. Oh, you're talking for Z, Z, Z1. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I just completely <laughs> switched it on you, but <laughs> yeah, well, Z one R. I mean, it's it's more. It's definitely more execution based and yeah. than luck for based sure because of you know there's so few items you can shuffle. Well, uh, GG's again, uh, Rambler. Yep. Yeah. At eleven at night. Uh, I was, I was yeah. Say back to like to the past and uh, wait. What? Back to the what's like to the past? Um, Rambler, you know, zero and three right now. Go for the perfecto. Go, you got, you got, you got, you're going for the uh, the perfect. Remember, remember, remember I, I, I'm record. I'm officially washed from uh, Links of the Past. I'm gonna see if we have more randomizer main now. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Um, so still, I I I'm guessing still going to play your other two races. Oh, of course. Tomorrow? Of course. Um, Get them out of the way, and then finally my wife can shut up about me. <laughs> there there you she's go. in the back. You know, wait, hold on. Right there. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I, I see her back there. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, come on, get over with. I want to go to bed. Uh, but, yeah, any uh, last-minute thoughts from uh, either of you before we close things up here? I mean, I hope that you and Gamma have fun tomorrow. I, I don't know. If, what time is that match? 10.30. 10, oh, okay. I'll be racing tomorrow at nice that time. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it'll be early morning. Uh, oh, that means I get to roll your seat. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Click the button. Yeah, I got, I got Make it happen. Shinmaru and Amareth tomorrow. So, see what happens. So, yeah, I'm, hope, I'm, I'm hoping somehow I get to play either two races tomorrow or not three. That, that's that, uh, but you know. So you either want to qualify or get eliminated? Is that what you're saying? I just, I want to either you don't qualify, play the and I know it won't happen, but I want to either qualify and not do the play-in race. Or <laughs> just get eliminated. So we'll see. <laughs> At this point, uh, if I win out, I feel like I'm going to be close to. Well, it depends on what Gamma does. Yeah, well, I, I, also I was just planning on losing Gamma's to him. Oh, guys, one loss or zero losses right now? <laughs> He's at zero. He's at zero. Right, yeah. But if you beat Gamma, then you're both at one loss. Yeah. Then it goes mm -hmm. tiebreakers, you win the head to head. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not. That's why everything's going to be fun. That's what her piece for. Because remember, Shinmaru lost uh, a second match today. He lost to you, and he also lost, I okay. think, to. To Amareth. Yeah, he's two and two. Currently. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, two and two, four. Each other alive. Yeah. 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 I mean, this is what you want to see at an event like this. Like people are talking about how stacked the groups are, how stacked the brackets. Everyone, be. every, and it's every like, group is stacked. Everybody's though. good. Yeah. So it's kind of like you know, uh, you're gonna see a lot of coin flips. Like for instance, another group earlier today, Matt seven eight nine eight, really good runner. Uh, obviously, I know I'm gassing up my own teammate here from <laughs> League, but like. Had a seed where he finishes in like 53 minutes, and then then he just gets completely smoked by Korak and didn't even have five crystals and wasn't in go mode when <laughs> yeah. uh, when Korak finished. So it's like there's so much swinging Ran back and forth. really swing because I mean I, it does. I mean I, I kept it closer against Gamma, so like, you never know. Yeah. You never know. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Yes, yeah. thank you for coming. For sure. I, I'm, I definitely want to comma Z, uh, Z3R yeah. also while I'm here. Uh, Maybe come playoff time. Oh yeah. Obviously. 
yeah, good good luck to you guys with your thank you, thank you. two matches. You too. And good luck with running things. <laughs> Mr. Orange. <laughs> Orange necklace over here. <laughs> Speed gaming staff. Um, yeah. Thanks again to Skelly, our tracker. He's run off, so we can't pull him in. To get yeah, shout out, shout outs to my man Skeleton Brother. <laughs> <laughs> but we really appreciate that. Keeps us honest. Yeah. Uh, Ninjembro, I'm glad we finally got to do comms together I, after all these years. All these years, and you know, this is the first time we got to do comms together. It was a pleasure. And they never did it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, mainly because I like sign up for comms like once every three months. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah, we, should, we should call it. It's yeah. like, you know, yeah, it's like late. Time to get some beers. That's what Skelly's probably doing. He's probably having a nice spot in town right now. Um. All right, I'm going to head on up. GG's again, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yep. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>